Hey everybody, welcome to American History 131. My name is Elizabeth Ham, and I will be serving as your lead learner for this course. In this short video, we're going to talk a little bit about your course syllabus and what a course syllabus really is. We're going to talk about a couple of course outlines and then some additional resources that you will receive to help you find your success throughout this course. Now, with your syllabus, remember that a college syllabus is your roadmap to success. This is going to include contact information for your professor. This is going to include grading information, attendance policies, who you need to contact. All of those things are going to be included in your course syllabus. So, um, just so that you know, you are taking American History 1. Um, the prefix for this course is HIS 131, um, and we will be, you will either be in section number 102 or section number 103. This is a three credit hour course, and if you need to um, drop this course for any reason, I would number one encourage you to communicate that with me first. But you may drop this course without a grade penalty up until March 26th of 2021. Now, something that I find um, extremely, extremely important in all classrooms, but especially in the online learning environment, is communication. I want to hear from you. I want to get to know you. I want to help you find your success within this content. In saying that, I have multiple ways that you can contact me. The first way that you can contact me, and my preferred way of contact, is via email. My email is emham at johnstoncc.edu. I do check my email daily um, and will respond to you as quickly as I can. If email's not really your thing and you would prefer to um, text or you would prefer to give me a phone call, that is more than fine. I will be, a, um, I will be available between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Um, typically in the evenings. I'm with my family, but if you send me a text message, I will try my best to get back to you. And that is my Google Voice number here. Um, as far as being able to meet one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to see your faces. I would love to hear your voices. Um, please just make sure that you communicate with me so that we can set up a time that we can meet one-on-one, -on -one, either virtually or in person, um, with the correct protocols. Okay, um, this course is going to be focused specifically on American history. We are going to be looking from the very, very beginning of American history, looking as early as the migration to Americas, all the way up through the Civil War. And through this course, we will be focused specifically on a couple of key vocabulary terms, and we're going to be looking at conflict and compromise as it relates to the political, socioeconomic, and cultural development in early American history. Um, this course will be taught 100% online. That means that all of your work is available to you online via Blackboard and should be submitted every week via Blackboard. Now, you'll also notice that in Blackboard, when you go into our course shell, it is organized by week, and then there's different assignments that are available to you in each week. I've tried my best to design this course with you in mind, and so each week you will have repeating assignments. You'll have inquisitive assignments due on Wednesday. You'll have a discussion board due on Friday, and then on Sunday evenings, you'll have a peer response that is due. Um, each week, we will focus on those key things, and then we will also have um, multiple assessments. We'll have a total of three unit assessments and one final assessment. In regards to our textbooks, we will be using an e-text this semester. We are considered to be a first day course. And so what that means is that the cost of your books has been included in your tuition. So that means when you log into our Blackboard course shell, all you need to do is go and click on the e-text. You need to click on the link for the Give Me Liberty book or the Voices of Freedom. It'll take you directly to the website for um, WW Norton, and you will be able to set up your account through there. Everything should be paid for. Everything should be um, linked appropriately. No extra codes or passwords or any of that. Um, if you do not wish to participate in this and would prefer to have have a um, would prefer to have a paper copy that is more than fine just let me know at the end of the day today so that I can make sure that you get on that list for that purchase 
Um, the driving question that we will be focusing on throughout this course um, will be how have conflict and compromise contributed to the development of political, socioeconomic, and cultural aspects of American society? Get used to this question. We're going to be digging deep into this. We're going to be looking at this question from multiple perspectives, um, but this is really, really where our course is going to focus most of its attention. In regards to grading for our course, there's going to be um, three different ways that our grades are broken up. The first one is going to be participation. This is going to make up 20% of your grade. Each week you're going to be required to do an inquisitive assignment and the grade that you get on your inquisitive will be your grade for the participation that week. In addition to that, we will um, have, like I said, three unit assessments and one final assessment. All of those grades combined will make up a total of 40% of your grade. In addition to that, um, we will also be doing discussion board posts as well as peer responses. This component will be making up 40% of your paper, um, I'm sorry, of your grade, which will include the papers and assignments. Okay. Um, as we're looking at your grades and as we're looking at the work that you're going to submit, I think that it's very, very important for you to know up front that your success is extremely important to me. And so in order for you to improve as a student, it is important for you to receive quality feedback from me. Now, just as in any other relationship, right, we both have to give and we when we have to take, right? And so it has to be 50-50. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to be scaffolding my specific feedback to you. And then what I expect to see from you is that as I'm giving you feedback, that you're making those changes, that you're asking questions when you don't understand, because ultimately this is about you and your success within this class. So what you can expect um, pretty immediately after we begin this course is that you will be receiving weekly feedback um, from me on discussion board post and your unit one assessment. Um, you should receive detailed feedback um, from me within this time frame, looking specifically at key vocabulary um, and the concepts of analysis assigned through each lens of history. Now, as we move into unit two, once we kind of get the rhythm of things, um, my feedback's going to change a little bit, um, but we will, you will still be receiving that feedback. Again, if you have any questions, please, please, please make sure that you're reaching out and asking questions if you don't understand. When we're talking about late work, Please make sure that you submit that work on time. Um, if you are having an issue with something, if you are struggling with something, if you've got something ongoing in your life, that is completely understandable. We are human first. However, again, it's important that you communicate. Just like if you have a job and you don't tell your boss that you're not going to be there, there are consequences for you not showing up. So the same thing is true even in an online course. If your work is late, there's going to be consequences. But please make sure that you do communicate so that I know that, like, hey, everything's okay. Um, I do try to communicate via email often, so make sure that you guys are um, checking your email so that we can be on the same page. All right? Um, as we look at the last couple of pieces of our syllabus, again, I, I cannot stress to you enough that I care about you and that together we are going to, number one, make it through this course, but number two, broaden our understanding of what it means to be an American citizen and what it means to find your own success in the secondary level classroom. Um, we're a learning team, we are in this together, and we have to work together in order to make this dream happen. Um, after, so in regards to the grading portion of your, of your work, um, you will be graded on a 10 point scale. I will be updating those grades um, as soon as possible. Give me a little bit of flexibility as I am human too, but you should see discussion board grades within about a week and unit assessment grades within about two weeks. Um, we will also be using the MLA format um, for any of your work submissions.
Okay, and the additional information that is included in this is um, for you to review, um, looking specifically at enrollment. Um, this week you will have your enrollment verification quiz that is due. Please make sure that you submit that so that you do not get dropped from the course. Um, if you've got any concerns, if you're confused about something, communicate with me first so that I can help you. Um, if you receive additional services, please make sure that you're communicating with me um, so that I can make sure that you have all of the things that you need. Um, before we kind of move on, I do want to show you a couple of resources that you have that are available to you that will also serve as a track to your success. Um, and so in your course information, you're going to see this overall course outline. What this course outline is going to give you is it's going to give you your course schedule. So what weeks you have, okay, it's going to give you the required readings for the week. And then it's also going to give you your assignment outline. Okay, um, so double check here every week to make sure that you're on the right track. Okay, this is also a great resource to kind of go ahead and plan out your weeks. Um, so if you want to plan like unit one um, and go ahead and write out the due dates, write out all the information that you need to have, um, and, then, and then we'll kind of roll into unit two um, at the beginning of February together. Um, and then additionally, each week you will be receiving one of these. Um, this is going to be your reading outline for the week. And so what you're going to see is any announcements or anything like major and overarching for the week. You're also going to see your assignments and then any required reading or additional information. So it looks a little bit different for week one because obviously we're not digging into the textbooks yet. Um, but here's an example of what it might look like for week two. So you have um, your required assignments that are due this week. So both of these inquisitive assignments are going to be due on Wednesday um, the 13th at 12 o'clock or 11.59 p.m. Um, on Friday, you'll have a discussion board reflection due on the 15th at 11.59 p.m. And then a peer response will be due that following Sunday um, by midnight. And then you'll also notice here that each of the chapters is broken down into some specific questions. Um, these questions you will see in the chapter um, outlines and the chapter notes and the virtual presentations. Um, these questions are not required for you to document, but are a really good idea to help you really pinpoint your reading and your understanding. Again, that is for Give Me Liberty and Voices of, this should be Voices of Freedom, not Voices of Liberty, um, but for Voices of Freedom, and both of those are required text and are e-text for this course. Um, so I know that I just gave you a lot of information, um, but I, again, just can't, can't wait for another semester um, teaching at JCC. I'm really excited to get to know all of you. I'm really excited to help you guys find your success, to help you find your voice as historians and as leaders in today's society. Um, I'm already proud of you. I am looking forward to a great semester together, and I can't wait to get started working together. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.